Hello there. Jennifer McCreeth, uh, Sunday, February 6, 2011. Um, Super Bowl Sunday, interestingly enough. Just uh, keeping one eye on the game and one eye on the camera here. Ah, 13 days post-op. I've been now home since Thursday. It is now Sunday. Ah, still very fresh in my mind was the two weeks I spent in Montreal. Um, I'm reminded every time I uh, undertake the maintenance, it's going to be a busy month ahead. Um, ice, um, sits baths, vaginal douching, and vaginal dilations uh, takes up a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> still on uh, some powerful antibiotics to prevent infection. And those have me kind of zonked out most of the time. It's disrupted by sleeping patterns. Uh, I guess I'm not really sure if it's sunk in yet. Uh, I'm excited. I seem to be smiling a lot, even though I'm in, in some pain and I'm lethargic and I can hardly move. But uh, I guess that's all a good sign. It's uh, I don't know. Very uh, tough to sort of come down from the emotions of the trip, and I haven't really had a chance to totally unwind. God, I look awful about my makeup. Oh well. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, I, I realize that the surgery is not, not going to change much other than what's inside my underwear. And uh, perhaps eventually, once I get the paperwork, what's on my birth certificate, driver's license, and all the other pieces of ID. I still have the same issues to deal with, and I'm well aware of that. And I've taken on more challenges. Uh, I can't pee in the bushes as easily now, and uh, among other things. But uh, I'm excited. I'm uh, really looking forward to phase two of my life, if you can call it that, uh, the life that I was meant to live, finally, is, is arriving. Um, uh, don't know where to go with this interview, I don't, uh, not really sure, kind of kind of missing Montreal, missing the, the care that was there, thinking about all the friends I made, uh, pining for them, actually, I really miss having other trans people, trans women, to hang out with, and, uh, where I think they're sense they're feeling the same thing. We're emailing each other quite a bit. Uh, um, I guess I'm still kind of heartbroken, and, um, but at the same time, uh, life must go on, and go on it does. Uh, first things first, I got to heal up before I can really do much in the way of anything. Um, <coughs> but uh, I've mentally prepared for this. I'm well aware that I'm going to be secluded here um, in my apartment uh, with. Not a lot of outings for a while. Um, focusing on taking care of myself and making sure that it's clean down there and free of infection and that all the the work gets done that needs to be done. And uh, hang on a second there. <coughs> Why don't we have a little interlude uh, just to say hello to my cat. Danny is sitting right here in the box. And Dasher, I believe, is over here in the pile of laundry. It's kind of dark in here, but... Uh, there is Dasher the cat. Say hello, Dash. Dash doesn't quite know what to make of the camera. You know, one of the highlights, I guess, of uh, being at home dealing with uh, recovery is that I get to spend a lot more time with my two kitty cats. And I'm enjoying that as long as they're not waking me up, which they do all the time. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sigh of relief, perhaps? Uh, this is a major hurdle. It took four years to get here. Um, sex reassignment surgery, finding doctors willing to work with me, um, negotiating the healthcare system that was generally not that helpful, spending a lot of my own money, um, taking advantage of some family donations. Um, still struggling to find, I guess, acceptance in this world. As a trans person, uh, there's a lot of issues out there still underemployed. Um, that's the biggest problem and this surgery's done absolutely nothing to help with that. And uh, But hopefully this will make me a better person uh, in some ways and add to my level of confidence and perception of self-importance and uh, hopefully that will make me more positive and so that more people will want to hang around with me, more people will want to hire me perhaps. Um, all I can do is uh, keep plugging away, think positively, and uh, make the best of a rough situation, and uh, try to enjoy the ride. It's uh, it's a unique experience to go through this. Uh, I, 
kind of wish that everyone would uh, have this opportunity so they would be able to put themselves in my shoes and they might think differently of me and they might treat me with a little bit more respect, kindness, and dignity. Anyway, um, I will check in again at some point and uh, monitor my progress. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.